Cookies DJ Lady S. I'm back. I have a haul plus another quick thing that I purchased at Sears yesterday and just a quick update on the giveaways. Now, some of you are not doing everything that you need to do. There's only three things that you need to do. It's not that difficult, ladies, so work with me here, okay? Because I want everyone to be considered. I want everyone to have a valid entry. I just don't want you to get left out, okay? You only need to follow or subscribe. Leave a comment down in the comment section of the giveaway video letting me know what you're entering for and sending me a valid email. If you have not received a good luck reply email from me, that means you're missing one of the three things or maybe two of the three things, okay? Either you emailed me, but you didn't leave a comment or you didn't tell me what you were entering for, or you entered and you emailed me, but you didn't leave a comment down under the video section. So it's a combination of things that you're missing. So the best way to understand if you have a valid entry for the giveaway is if you have not um, received a good luck reply email from me, you are missing something. So please go back. I want everyone to be able to um, have a valid entry for this. So. Okay, yes, I'm back from my birthday weekend. We had so much fun. I did so much shopping. And you want to know something, ladies? There is such a thing as shopping, over shopping, and, and just having enough. You know, I, I'm, I'm like done with shopping. That That's only going to last about 24, 48 hours. But uh, this past weekend, all I did was shop. And I got some really great things. And but I'm I'm shopped out and that's as of yesterday the Sears the closest Sears to me is closing and so everything in the store was 25 to 50 percent off so I have been eyeballing a craftsman's tool tote that I've seen a lot of ladies on the craft YouTube channels and things they have these really cute pink and and green and platinum uh, Craftman tote uh, tool totes so I wanted one of those and come to find out they're only like $13 so I said well let me go to Sears after we left church yesterday came home we relaxed and then I jumped in my car and drove out to my local Sears now I did not know this Sears was going out of, out of business or closing that particular store so and when everything's picked over, you know how you go downstairs, the tool section is down there and all that, you know, the patio furniture and the lawnmowers and stuff like that. Well, I had to go down downstairs. It's all cleared out. There's like a little corner over there that still has some tools and things. Well, I found this tool tote. Okay, I hope you can see it. And that's what the picture looks like. And this was the only one that they had. It, I really did not want green. But it's all that they had. So I went ahead and I purchased this. Now, the only difference between this one and the other ones that the ladies, other ladies have on YouTube is that um, they have a, a bar that goes across that doesn't move. It stays right here in the middle to carry it. Where this one has the, um, the little straps that what I really like they fall out of the way so I can get to the items let me see if I can hold this up for you I can get to the items okay there's pockets on the outside on the both ends and things like that and on you know pockets right there another thing about this one this is the 24 piece homeowner tool set so tools came in this I didn't want tools I got a hammer a uh, slip joint pliers, long nose pliers, adjustable wrench, uh, precision screwdrivers, uh, measuring tape, snap off blade, utility knife, magnetic bit driver, nine screwdriver bits, an adapter, uh, project parts organizer. I, you know, I didn't want all that, and this was substantially more than the thirteen dollars. This was, um, I paid. What tax and everything came to like thirty-two dollars. Well, it's because it came with tools. So I'm sitting here thinking, okay, do I take this back to another Sears or do I go ahead and keep this? So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to keep this because I really do like how the handle um, gets out of the way. Where the others, they like I said, they have that bar that goes across, which I think would get in the way of um, getting to your your craft items and so remember in my other video I said I'm going to revamp my Sherry Nietzsche Sherry Nietzsche um, I'm going to revamp my Sherry Nietzsche how I organize I'm taking it out of the Orla Keeley 
or orlikaili, I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, and I'm going to incorporate in here, even though this is green and green was not the color that I wanted, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, my, my Sherry Nietzsche is pink, but you know, everything else is all different colors. So I'm not, I'm not going to Jones out about the, the color. Um, so I'm going to see how this works for me. If that doesn't work for me for my Sherry Nietzsche, I have other journals and things like that. Now you remember my planner? my Hello Kitty planner that I made, uh, this will fit in there perfectly. So there's so many different things that I can do, but I definitely wanted one of these tool totes. And so this is what I purchased. And so once I get it all set up and everything, I'll post another video so you can see that. So I went and, and as far as the tools, I just may keep them here in my craft room, you know, and uh, because I'm always looking for a screwdriver or pliers or something, especially now that I'm making my own jewelry and things like that. So I could probably incorporate the, you know, this little tool set in my craft room, you know, like when I buy uh, craft tables and things like that, you know, you need the little tools to put together. And so I can, I can, I can make this work. So it was substantially more than what I wanted to pay at the $13 and everything, but I'm not going to complain about that. Now, I did go to the Daiso store yesterday uh, because I'm sending out the two winners, Lois Pretty and Araceli Farsi. I'm sorry, Falcon, Falcone. I'm sorry, I can't remember your last name. Those are the two winners of the... Um, of the giveaway that I had and they did email me so I am sending out their items today but I took another trip to the Daiso store and these are the items that I picked up while I was there yesterday uh, some more great things that I just ran into I originally went in there to go buy the um, the snack bags the zip snack bags that I see a lot of people snack bags that I see a lot of people showing here on YouTube but I can't find them they, they've got everything else but that particular bag and a storage bag so I'm on the hunt I purchased this um, this wrapping paper for $1.50 it's three rolls and let me see if it tells you how much is on here uh, 21 uh, 21 by 30 inch so um, you get three rolls and it's enough for what I want to do just the things that I want to um, wrap are very small things so that's okay I purchased a bottle cap and I want you to understand what this is it's like it's a straw and it has a cute little cap to protect your your straw so like here's the cap like there and it's got a little jewel there I just thought that was really cute to go um, alongside my Hello Kitty uh, water bottle that I had or just any water bottle that I use and it will fit any straw so but what it does it just snaps it keeps it closed for you so I purchased that now this right here now check this out ladies okay you know how every time you see something or you know you come up with your own idea of something that you need for yourself well I'm, I'm going to share a little something with you um, I used to sweat a lot and I guess I'm going through the change or something like that I'm not sure and then I would always have like little sweat rings under my my blouses and my dresses and things and so I'm like you know what I need something to kind of to guard me from that and so I was using uh, panty liners, very thin panty liners, because there was nothing out on the market that I could find that can absorb the sweat stain. And so now, lo and behold, at the Daiso store, they have sweat absorbent pads, and you get uh, four sets in here. And like I said, it goes under your, your jackets, you know, right here under your arm, your jackets, your dresses that have sleeves, your t-shirts, and it just fits on there just like, you know, you just put it on like that and it absorbs on the inside, of course, and it absorbs the sweat. So you won't have a sweat stain. So, um, it's unbelievable. I've been using, you know, panty liners and then there they had it right there. I bought this uh, cute little book um, cover. I have a, uh, depending on what size it is, I think I'll put it on my Bible. Um, I have a leather cover on it right now, but I just want to change up the look, so I bought a polka dot um, a book cover. And then I bought some washi tape, this red and blue, and the brown two-tone polka dot right there. So I needed some more. Well, I didn't need it. It's just that I saw it, and I went ahead and I bought it. 
uh, this is rolled sticky notes. Now, this is what I thought was pretty cool. This you could use as flags and things like that in your Hobonichi or your journals, your planners. But this, it, it came with all four colors, and it's already on the little uh, tear thing, you know, like your scotch tape case. It already comes on the the thing where you could just tear it off. And I can always cut it to make it look like a banner or make it look like a flag, but the whole thing is sticky. Not just, you know, your flags, but just a part of it is sticky and you know how it always kind of curls up on the other end. So I thought that this was really, really cool. I got all four colors for $1.50 and it comes on the little dispenser itself. I thought that, that was really cool. I purchased this uh, plastic stand for $3. Like I said, some items in the store will be $3. And some, I came across a couple of things that are $6, but the majority of the stores are $1.50 in Daiso. Daiso. But uh, this has the cotton pads already in there. You see the cotton pads in there? And so I already have the acrylic um, makeup organizers in my bathroom. And I wanted something for cotton balls and... and um, the uh, cotton pads that are covered and so they already had this in there with the co cotton pads in there so I went ahead and I purchased this for three dollars now only thing I'm wondering is if I get another one can I just you know put the cotton balls in there and just keep pushing them down because it does have a little opening right here to where you could pull the cotton pads out so I'm thinking I can get another one and I can just pull the cotton balls through and just keep pushing them down because you got to keep it covered got to keep the dust off of that so um I really like it that it's uh, clear, and if I wanted to, I can put decorate it with some stickers. I uh, purchased the sticky memo. Um, it's like a craft color. I like that. Um, you get two hundred on here for a dollar fifty. So I wanted some of that. Oh, I purchased some more of the the cushion case in the red and white polka dot. Um, they they didn't have any other colors. They have a turquoise with white polka dots, but they don't have the smaller case that goes with it. So I'm, I'm not buying that until they have the little case that go along with it. Now, this was interesting. I was not looking for anything like this. This is called cupboard sheets. And what you do is, you know, like how when you line your cupboards, your pantry and, and, and your shelving and your, your kitchen cabinets uh, with the sticky paper? Well, this isn't sticky. This is, um, it's like soft cushy. And I like how I have polka dots on it. So I'm thinking of lining my drawers in my bathroom and the shelf underneath my bathroom counter uh, bathroom sink with this and I thought that this was really cute little polka dot paper um, but it's really more paper it's it's cushy so um, I'm not good with centimeters metric it's 30 centimeters by 600 centimeters so I don't know wait a minute I put my readers on because they do have the inches on there really small oh 11.8 inches by 23.6 inches or feet inches I think hmm well it can't be 23 feet because it doesn't no it is 23 feet because it's very thin okay so it's 11 by 8 inches 11 11.8 inches by 23.6 feet so it's 23 you know feet long and a little bit wider than and then a sheet of paper eight and a half by eleven so it's a little bit wider than that so um i like that so i thought that that was really cute and so i i'm going to do that in my bathroom because that's part of my organization and then i found this cute little pink uh trash can which um if you saw my other video I have some Hello Kitty stickers that I'm going to make this a Hello Kitty trash can that's going to sit right on my um, my desk here as I craft and you know have little pieces of paper and everything so I thought that that was really cute now can you imagine if this already had Hello Kitty on there how much more this would cost so for $1.50 I bought this and I bought the Hello Kitty stickers that I'm going to use on it. I paid a dollar for that. So just imagine how much more this would have cost if I actually had Hello Kitty stickers on here already. So that's my haul from the, the Daiso store. And I will be going back in a couple of days. Um, so that's it. So just make sure, ladies, that you go back. And like I said, if you have not received a confirming good luck email for me you have not entered 
um, your, your entry is not valid because you're missing something. Make sure you follow, subscribe, leave a comment under the video of the giveaway of what you're entering for and sending me a valid email. That's all you have to do. Thank you so much, ladies. I will talk to you in the next video. Um, we have coming up in just a little under a couple of weeks or maybe just over a couple of weeks. We have the flip through for the Sherry Nietzsche on July 1st. Let me know if you want to be a part of that. I'll put up a separate video for that. And I um, had a great time on my, my birthday weekend. Thank you so much for all the birthday wishes and everything. I had a great time. Like I said, I shopped till I dropped. And I'm so done with shopping right now. But like I said, it's only going to last about 24 to 48 hours before I start thinking I need to get out there and get something else. And uh, I got to pop off so I can get the winner's um, uh, uh, prizes in the mail. And uh, I'll see you at the next video. And as always, ladies, you know I want you to be blessed. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.